Are we there yet? Dan and Bex are on their road trip, but heavy traffic's left them in a jam. I spy with my little eye something beginning with C. <sighs> a car? You've got it! I spy with my little eye something beginning with C. <sighs> Another car? Yeah! I spy... It's OK, Bex. I get the picture. Do you know a squirrel would love this traffic? It's nuts! <laughs> Although all the fumes aren't going to be good for that poor squirrel. <coughs> And think, as the population grows, where will all the extra vehicles go? We might need double-decker motorways. Flying cars, maybe? Pilot Dan! Yeah, I like the sound of that. The guys are right. Traffic jams aren't just annoying. They cause pollution and can cost drivers a lot of money. Congestion costs the country billions of pounds each year. And with around half a million new vehicles each year, managing the roads is more important than ever. Bit different to Victorian times when people walked, took trains or used horses. Yeah, do you think there was ever a traffic jam of horses? The problem of too much traffic is relatively new. For centuries, there just wasn't enough traffic to cause problems. Well, apart from in big cities. And whilst in the future we may be convinced to use other forms of transport, the problem's unlikely to go away. That's why it's important to understand what causes congestion and doing what we can do to manage the load on the roads. There are many roads today that aren't big enough to cope with the amount of vehicles that are now using them. This can cause what planners call pinch points. You might know about places near where you live that regularly get snarled up. And without major replanning, it can be difficult to get around these sorts of problems. On busy highways and motorways, it's sometimes possible to keep things moving by reducing the speed limit, allowing a smaller number of cars to use the road at a time, or by letting drivers use the hard shoulder. That's the emergency lane on the left-hand side. Look, there's a recovery truck. Seems like someone's broken down and that's what's caused the jam. Things going wrong is another cause of congestion. Maybe a car broke down, or there's been an accident. This problem can be tackled by putting things right as quickly as possible, using cameras to see what's happened and getting emergency vehicles on the scene super fast. Oh, looks like Satnav has found us a quicker route. Gotta be worth a try. If we go much slower, we're gonna get a parking ticket. It's not just on the road where technology can help keep things moving. Apps, Satnav, and even the technology inside our cars can give us information about what's going on and help get around or even solve problems. Using technology might even be able to predict problems before they happen by tracking the traffic and looking for patterns. Here, this will cheer you up. What do you get if two giraffes collide? A giraffic jam! Worst joke ever. Are we there yet? with support from the Royal Academy of Engineering. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash roads.